Hi there, family. I am so glad that you decided to join me again. And I have not exhausted the figure theme by no means whatsoever. So I'm going to come back to it right here in this note. Now, it is so very important that we allow God to replace our fears with faith. And I must say, it, it doesn't mean as though he snatches fear away and, and, and he just dumps a, 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 a pong of faith on our plate. But he has to develop it in us to the various experiences that come to us in our lives. If we do not develop faith and if we are overpowered by fear, you know what that could mean? It could mean that we really do not get to our life's purpose. God has a plan for us. The plan and the purpose go together. So fear could actually prevent you from walking in God's plan for you and hence could cause you to miss your purpose. I think that is so amazing and important. There, there's so much to say and um, there's always so little time in which to say all right, so as it relates to me now, back in 2003, I had to take a leap of faith. And if I had been scared and frightened not to do what God, the Holy Spirit, impressed me to do, I tell you, I don't believe I will be here now. And definitely, I would not have written the two books which I've written. People are afraid of so many different things, but I like to tell you that God's word gives an antidote for all our fears. Some people are afraid of people, what people will say about them, how people will move against them, how people will gossip about them. I could give you a text that takes care of all of that. All right, now, the message that I was given was that I would walk through the valley of the shadow of death standing up. No, <laughs> that way you scare anybody, totally, you know, really, really scare them. However, that... I knew that I had God, I knew God loved me. So back to the idea of a plan that God has for us. And um, I wanted to add to that. That thought was not coming from, um, <laughs> I like to use Shakespeare's, um, something Shakespeare says in Macbeth. That thought was not coming from some heat oppressed brain, not in the least bit. Um, so it wasn't some fanciful um, notion that it cooked up in my head. No, you know, God speaks to us in different ways. And if you are a Christian, even if you're not a Christian, you know good enough that God speaks to us in several different ways. All right, so we back to talking about fear. So I want to ask you a question. Do you think fear ever not for admittance on my door? Remember, I told you that fear begins in the mind. So quickly, I want to pull something now that I wrote um, back in 2007, that's 15 years ago, in a prayer letter called More Than Conquerors. If you've got the book, you need to go to page 309. It's an entire narrative that is so gripping, but I'm going to share a little bit of it with you. Now, a very good friend of mine, I really loved her. Her name is in the book, so I'll call her name. Her name was Maureen, Maureen Jordan, and she passed, and her hubby, I, I I mean, it was such an amazing experience. I suggested that he should write, and he did. And he brought the letter to me, and I included it in the publication. But now let me read something here, um, written on page three. Oh, no, I have enough time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I have here. So the um, Brother Jordan brought the letter, so I'm settled now to read this letter. So I say, what amazes me about God, though it does not surprise me, is that he has led me into an encounter with Maureen, even writing about her end. Even while I am walking in the valley of the shadow of death, quite daring, I would say, God obviously knows my strength and capability since he is the one pouring his strength into me. I must tell you, my dear friends, that God has been more than enough in this valley walk. He has treated me like a lady. I am determined to continue to walk through this experience with poise, dignity, finesse, and even panache. You know I look crazy, right? God has provided for my needs in every single respect. I lack nothing except a few poems. <laughs> Do you have any to, to spare? Send them my way. As I read through Brother Jordan's handwritten account, some sly 
sneaky, treacherous, taunting, and impish little thought kept trying, an impish little thought kept trying to skulk their way across my mind, insinuating themselves into my consciousness. When he spoke of her losing weight, I became more conscious of my gaunt frame. However, before those thoughts could be embedded, a strong arm, capital S, capital A, lasso them and hold them unceremoniously away. My time has gone and I've got to stop here. But you know, family, honestly, I encourage you to get the book. It is a lot. It is a lot. But you don't need to be intimidated by, to, by the size. What I could do is identify particular parts that you can read. So prayer letter number 32, entitled More Than Conquerors, is just an awesome letter Describes a wonderful woman. I take this opportunity to pray, pay tribute to her, Maureen Jordan. <sighs> there is so much to share that I am just like a like a fountain. Listen, you coming back? You have to. You have to come back. Cause I gonna be here waiting for you, man. All right. You have a great day, whatever night, and uh, I catch up with you next time. Bye bye.